Okay, I've got a number of things to show y'all today. I haven't posted anything recently because uh, I've been busy. All right, so here's a shirt. And I actually did an accordion fold on this, um, but I did a zigzag. So you can see how I basically just did the zigzag. So I basically just did a zigzag all the way around, used Sanu on it. Remember that creates my white lines or it helps prevent uh, colors going from one area to another. And I basically did two sections here. Um, I used light blue and an alpine blue for this. And then these, um, this side, I used uh, yellow and red. So I knew I'd get a little bit of orange. Um, for the body of it, I did a squinch. So once I had this tied, I did a squinch. And on my squinch, I used uh, blues, navy blue, uh, two different colors of black, and a silver. Um, so I'm not really sure where this came from, except for maybe some of this just accidentally got on that. But it looks nice. Overall, I think the overall appearance is really cool. I really like it. So this is my shirt. Now I did another paw print hoodie. Um, so this is one of the lightweight, it's kind of like a t-shirt, but it's a paw print hoodie. Really like the way this one turned out. Love the sleeves. The sleeves turned out just exceptional. I did it a little bit different this time. I still did the zigzag, but with the zigzag, um, I um, did it in diagonal rows of different colors of ink. So I think that turned out good. And here's the back. Remember, it's a paw print. So there's the, there's the back of the paw print. That's the back of the, the hoodie. So I think, it, I think it really turned out nice. I really like the way this one turned out. All right, I'm finally getting my paw prints down. I'm starting to understand better. See, this is where the Sanu was. So I did my, my fold and then I tied it with Sanu and I actually put liquid dye on this and then covered it with plastic and then did ice dye on the rest of it. Um, and the other shirt that I just showed you was ice dye as well. I like the ice dyes better. So there's the shirt, there's another, there's the hoodie. All right, so I've been doing, I've been doing a bunch of towels because I really like doing these medallion towels. And so here's one where I used mainly all purples except for just a little tiny bit of red. So you can see all the different purples and then here's the area with a little tiny red. Remember that the medallion fold basically is this. And then I use sinew and I wrap it around and then just do different folds all the way down. And so all these, all these towels are basically that. So there's that one. Here's one that I use primarily only greens. I thought that one turned out real pretty too. And then here's one I did primarily blues. I've done purples, blues, and greens. And then of course the big one that I did um, in my bedroom was reds. So I'll be doing, I'm trying to do some different, um, I'm trying to do just different color combinations just to see how they turn out. So this one turned out really pretty. I love the way this turned out. Kind of feathering in there, really pretty. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a number of these I haven't showed y'all. And then here's this one. I must have had a weird something in my fold to get this. But it's okay. I think it really turned out pretty anyway. One more of these. Here's that one. Now that one turned out really cool. Nice big kaleidoscope. I started with my blues and greens and I went over to my purples, reds. I actually just kind of did the color wheel going back out and then repeated myself, which I think turned out really, really pretty. Okay, and then the piece de resistance, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see all of this or not. I did a huge 
apart. This one's huge. I'm actually going to use it as a crate cover, I think. Um, <laughs> believe it or not. So here's, here's the edges of it. So you can kind of see the color combinations. I don't know if you can see all that. I know it's really big. It's like, I think it's like a 70 by 70 or something like that. So I think this turned out really pretty too. I was really happy with it. I mean, see, see the other end of it, the other side of it. There we go. You can kind of see it. But this turned out real, real pretty. I was really, I was really pleased with this. All right. So let me know your thoughts. You know me, I always want to know. I've got a couple more ideas of shirts, but I had to order some new shirts. Um, some more shirts and I ran out. I'm having so much fun doing this in my spare time. All the spare time that I have, right? <laughs> All right. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all.